morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Slano, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today's Friday, February 5th, 2021. And Flame, before we get going, before we start our weekend, let's take a moment to pause, put our hand on our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We now pause for the moment of silence. Thanks, dragons, and flame, the sun is going to rise today at 7.11 in the morning, and it's going to set at 5.35 in the late afternoon. Dragons, wide world of sports, flame and I love Fridays, and one of the neat things that actually happened this week was two days ago on February 3rd, and that was National Women in Sports Day, and it's a celebration of all that has been accomplished, not only in women's sports, but all those people that helped women's sports to evolve over these last decades and into 2021. This is the 35th year that National Women in Sports Day has been celebrated. And look, Dragons, Flame even brought one of his favorite magazine covers, right? Check that out. This is from almost two years ago when the United States won the Women's World Cup. And you have here Alex Morgan and Megan Rapino on the cover because they won the Women's World Cup in 2019 and in 2015. But there are so many famous women that have played sports over this last century and all the way into our present day, and they deserve acknowledgement and recognition. If you think about Simone Biles and what she's done in gymnastics, and Simone Manuel with all she's done with swimming, and Ajo Wilson, Diana Taurasi in the WNBA, you have Sloane Stevens and Venus and Serena Williams. They've been pioneers in tennis and Danielle Kang and Inby Park in golf and all kinds of different sports. We, we earlier this year are one of our favorite athletes, right? Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond and all that she's gone through to be a pioneer in women's sports in the profession of coaching. And then even in two days, Dragons, we'll have the first ever woman who is going to act as an official in the Super Bowl. Sarah Thomas will be officiating in the Super Bowl. So that's outstanding. And if you're a young lady out there and the sports that you get to play, there weren't always these opportunities. Maybe back when your grandparents or even before then, maybe even some of your parents didn't have access to sports like we do now. So when we think of all the equity and equality that we try to put into opportunity for sports, National Women in Sports Day is a wonderful celebration of that. And, like we said, Sarah Thomas will be officiating the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is in two days, Dragons, between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You might remember last year, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. They beat San Francisco last year. And Tampa Bay hasn't been to the Super Bowl in 18 years. It's been a very long time since Tampa Bay has made it. But both teams have had great seasons. You might have a favorite. You might have a team that you're trying to root for or hope that wins over another. It might be the team that just won or a team that hasn't won in a very long time. Da -da -da. It's time for the birthday box. All right, Flame, here we go. Let's see what birthdays we have today. But is this, wait a minute, this says that we have no birthdays today. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's do tomorrow. That's a, okay, let's do it. All right, tomorrow, February 6th, we have Advik Barani Shungar in first grade. Happy birthday, Advik. Oh, another first grader, Sam Klein. Happy birthday, Sam Klein, also in first grade. Oh, a pair of dragons on February 6th. Way to go, guys. And the mail. We got a lot of mail here. Oh, let's see here, it says, oh, look at all this mail. Dear Flame, I want to tell you a joke. What do you call discount sushi? Hmm. I wonder what you call expensive sushi. I don't know what discount sushi. A raw deal. That makes so much sense. <laughs> a raw deal from Clarissa Cruz Legay in second grade. Clarissa, that's hilarious. Okay, dear flame. Deer is the plural for deer. Oh, flame, you asked that question. That was our homework. What animal has a plural name that's the same as its singular name? And here, 
Uh, Reese Wilk says deer. You can't say deers. Look at all these deers. Right, it's deer. Deer is the plural of deer. Thanks, Reese. Deer flame. Lobster. Deer. Sheep. Thanks. From Dante Galdemus in sixth grade. Dante, super job, man. Yes, did you know flame? So deer is right. Sheep, right? Not two sheeps, but sheep. You can say lobster. Lobster in plural can be lobster. It can also be lobsters, but there's some animals where you can do both. That's fantastic. Good job, guys. Oh, we got a nice little postcard. Look, it says, seize the day. Seize the day. I wonder who this is from. It says, dear flame, I was so excited to watch your news on Monday and have you mention that I won an award for integrity. That was such a thoughtful gesture that I wanted to, that I want you to keep the award. Please tell all of the children to act with kindness and integrity. I hope you take care of this award. You never know who you'll inspire. Love always, Miss Lotta Mascopolis. Flame, oh is it? Flame, Lotta sent us her integrity award. Look at that, dragons. Miss Mascopolis won an award for her outstanding integrity. For Miss Mascopolis. Miss Lascopolis, that is so great. And so, dragons, when you think of doing the right thing, even when you don't want credit, even when it's not expected, or even when no one is looking, that's the true sign of integrity, that you can get things to go in the right direction without being told and without needing some kind of award. Just like Miss Mascopolis, dragons, we want to thank you for having outstanding integrity, even when it's tempting not to. So, on behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Salerno. Have an awesome weekend, dragons. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Hopefully you get out and have some fun this weekend. And we can't wait to see you on Monday. Thanks, everyone.